engineers and designers for major transportation projects, city roads, and land development projects expect immediate results during the design phase, and changes can happen at any time. Using corridors within Civil 3D can help streamline the design phases and manage change more efficiently throughout. Alignments, profiles, and assemblies are not all you need to know to be efficient in designing roads. In this lesson, we will learn a few tips and tricks when it comes to corridor modeling. And in this session, we're going to look at creating a cul-de-sac within a corridor. So you can utilize targets in a lot of different ways to lay out the horizontal and the vertical design of a cul-de-sac. We can use additional baseline assemblies and target control to quickly and easily design and model that cul-de-sac. So we typically start with a center line of maybe the main road. We have a center line of what would be our cul-de-sac road. And then we also have an alignment that is typically along the lip of gutter or the edge of asphalt within that corridor. And we'll create an assembly that's based upon that edge of asphalt and run that through the corridor and do some multiple targeting and, and model that cul-de-sac. So let's move on over to Civil 3D and model a cul-de-sac. Okay, so we're here inside Civil 3D. Let's first review what we have to begin with. We have a corridor, and you can see through the intersection this corridor is half width. We've got that alignment and profile for that corridor, and we have an alignment and a profile for our cul-de-sac. All we need at this point is we need to create an alignment and profile for this yellow line, which is going to be our edge of asphalt. And we need to create an assembly that we're going to use to model the cul-de-sac. So let's go ahead and do the alignment and profile first. So I'm going to come here to the Home tab, Create Design Panel, Alignments, Create Alignment from Object. I'm just going to select that yellow line, which is the edge of asphalt, and hit Enter. Direction, we want it to go from top to bottom or left to right. I'm going to hit Enter to accept that. We're going to name it cul-de-sac. I'm going to leave the defaults style proposed. Erase existing entities, I'm going to take off. I'm going to hit OK. So we have our alignment. I'm going to select that. I'm going to choose from the ribbon surface profile. And I'm going to sample my existing ground. I'm also going to sample my road finish grade. So this entrance road finish grade is this corridor. I'm going to sample that so we know what to tie into at each end of our cul-de-sac. And I'm going to change this style to be a design profile. Draw this in profile view. And I'm going to quickly go through here and just add a little bit of information. Kind of give us a little bit of extra padding within that uh, profile view. And we're going to go ahead and select here at the bottom, create profile view, and place it here to the right side. So we have our profile. You can see we have the little portion that we are tying into on each side, left and the right. So we now need to do a design profile for that cul-de-sac. So I'm going to come to Profiles, Profile Creation Tools, select my grid. I'm going to leave those default and hit Enter. Here I'm going to choose Draw Tangents with Curves. And I'm going to start by tying into this finished grade. And I'm just going to pick something roughly the center of that cul-de-sac. And let's tie back into the finished grade on that downhill side. Okay, and we can adjust this. We can modify the elevations here. We're going to leave that as is. So we have our alignment and our profile for our edge of asphalt. We now need to create the assembly. So I'm going to move over here to the side. I'm going to choose assembly, create assembly, and I'm going to call this curb. Hit OK and place it here on the left side. From my tool palettes, we're going to create a simple subassembly. I'm going to first start with my lanes. Now I want a two foot lane on the left side. We're going to use this as targeting, so we don't need a full lane. We just need a little bit that we can use within our corridor to target some features. So let's add in a curb. I'm going to use the Urban Curb Gutter General. Place that in there. We're going to do a sidewalk now. Urban sidewalk. Maybe it has a planter strip of, say, five feet. And last but not least, let's go ahead and add in a daylight condition. Basic side slope cut ditch will work. And just place it here. 
And this is the assembly that we will use within that cul-de-sac corridor. So I'm going to move over to our cul-de-sac now. Let's kind of zoom in here. And let's begin to build this corridor. So I'm going to choose the existing corridor. I'm going to right click, go to corridor properties. I'm going to choose add baseline from the parameters tab. I'm going to pick this from the screen and this is going to be our edge of asphalt. I'm going to hit OK. Down here at the bottom we want to give it a profile or a vertical profile. Hit OK. Right click, I'm going to add a region and this is where we're going to use the curb that we created and hit OK again. I'm going to modify the beginning and ending stations. I don't want to start at the very beginning. I want to start at this curb return. And I'm going to go ahead and change the ending as well. And I'm just going to select OK. And rebuild the corridor. And so it's now built the initial portion of this cul-de-sac. As you can see here, we have our corridor. I want to change the frequencies. I'm going to select this corridor, edit frequency from the ribbon. And I want to change this to along tangents and curves every five feet. I'm going to really tighten up that cul-de-sac. There we go. So now at this point, I want to choose to target a few different options. I'm going to first target the corridor center line of this cul-de-sac, and then I'm going to target this existing center line out here in the main road. So I'm going to select my corridor once again, and on the ribbon, I'm going to choose Edit Targets. I'm going to choose inside my cul-de-sac, and there's a couple different target mapping options. We have surfaces, we have width, and we have slope. We want to first target for width of the asphalt section. So you can see there we've got asphalt on my left side. We want to use that width target. And we can target objects like alignments, feature lines, survey figures, and polylines. So I'm going to choose alignments. And I'm going to select from the screen the center line of that cul-de-sac and the center line of that road. Okay, I'm going to select Enter. I'm going to add those in. You can see we've added it here to the list. And I'm going to go ahead and select OK here and OK once again on this cul-de-sac. So you can see now, if I hit Enter, you can see that cul-de-sac has been modeled. We haven't yet targeted for elevation, so it might be targeting for width. It might look good here, but we haven't fixed the elevation based on these two profiles. So I'm going to edit one more time. I'm going to edit targets. And then this time where we had the width, so the two that we did for the width, we want to target those same ones for the profile. So I'm going to come down here to the bottom where it says target outside elevation target. I'm going to select none. And I'm going to use profile. We can also target 3D objects like survey figures, feature lines, 3D poly lines. So I'm going to choose from my list my cul-de-sac, and then here's the finished grade. I'm going to hit Add, and then I'm going to do the same thing for that profile here. Add the profile for that main road. Hit Add, and hit OK. One more target while we're in there. Again, we've got three options. We did width and slope. I'm going to target a surface, and I'm going to target that existing ground with my daylight, and hit OK. So as you can see there, and let me grab this surface, and let me take a look at this in Object Viewer. Let's go here down to the bottom. You can see that by adding in that alignment and profile for the cul-de-sac, utilizing a very simple sub-assembly, we can add that to our corridor and we can quickly and easily model things from cul-de-sacs, knuckles, turn lanes, anything else you can think of just by using targeting.